Hello traders, good day and in advance happy new year. Today is 31st of December of 2023. This is the last day we have in this year which, which will be lost in the time uh, span and will be added in the date of the to increase the next date. Anyhow, let's not get philosophical rather than how we can make some progress in 2024. Let us see if we can do something like this. Guys, <clears throat> this is AUD, Australian dollar and Swiss franc, CHF. And you guys can see I'm in 12 months time frame and it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or at least for the last three years, it had uh, the uh, Australian dollar didn't make any progress against uh, uh, AUD. Uh, I I mean the CHR Swiss franc. And every time, if we guys see that uh, there is a break of structure here and it went down, even if we go back a little bit earlier, there is this break of structure here. It came down and it started coming down again if we just enlarge a little a little more we can see that each time it uh, broke the structure uh, one and <coughs> yeah broke of the structure it came down so it happened but the amazing thing what i try to see is this uh, this year it failed to break the uh, structure this year it, it didn't fail, it didn't break the structure for the last three years it tried to so uh, if if to be uh, there is a fall annotation here if you watch that if it was uh, we were in 2020 and it is on 2021 and it didn't break the structure uh, here and we have a very big long shadow uh, uh, this guy and, and this guy didn't break a thing we should have been gone bullish but uh, now in the next year we lost a lot of money it it went bullish uh, from me uh, uh, it opened here move up but it went down at the end of the year and same thing <coughs> Here, if we see that uh, in 2022, still it didn't break the structure here, this guy. So we can go to bullish again. Again, we lost the money at the end of the year. Now, this year it happened again. But uh, guys, you know, this is a very powerful pattern. Uh, it calls uh, three, three rising method, if I am not wrong, let's see. Uh, rising I think it is called three th three rising methods this pattern is very powerful you guys can see that uh, it, it starts uh, this is a bullish candle or something like this and three red candle is here uh, to show a better picture will be this is the thing you can see so rising three methods uh, this is a bullish candle where three candles started uh, falling uh, taking in out but failed to break the upside also the downside and uh, we have a big uh, what you say big uh, bullish candle uh, this is the method uh, uh, this is a very acceptable pattern so considering that uh, I will say that uh, this year, and uh, you can see uh, if we bring that pattern here, uh, maybe you, you guys will be very clear more. Uh, uh, if you're a trader, can you look at this chart? No, not this one. This one, let's bring it here. Uh, minimize this guy. Okay, and uh, bring it to this chart. Uh, can help us to visualize. A certain a certain thing that you guys can see now that this is the red, green one this is the green one and these are the three candles I am considering these three 
so this rising pattern is the only most strongest con conclusion I have and this time <coughs> it didn't uh, even uh, uh, it did fail to break the structure even you can see it uh, this guy broke the structure even but uh, this was very weak uh, not on the bearish side failed to break the structure on the bearish side so I'm very optimistic this year that we may see a green candle here in the long run uh, we may uh, just let, let me put it here for my own <coughs> uh, judgment to monitor it uh, this year that uh, uh, I want to make it print very big print yes uh, this is the thing and I want to put it in black the surrounding so it doesn't mismatch with this guy uh, let me increase the black a little bit 100% so and I want to put it 2 pixel yes so this is the thing I am expecting to be honest with you this year uh, maybe not so big but at least uh, piercing line I am expecting something like this this year so if it is something like that guys uh, uh, be careful don't buy everything I say you should do your own uh, we are talking about 500 pips this year so let's move to monthly now and uh, of course we should turn it off for rest of the time frame so it doesn't bother us in monthly time frame uh, we can see the marking i have drawn here these are the major marking which he, which will play through i don't want it in monthly even. No, I can. It's okay even if it is a monthly. I don't know. So this is the thing I am expecting. Disregard this for the moment. So this is the place where we can see that one, two, three, four, five, uh, five uh, months. Uh, uh, it is uh, uh, running uh, in the same region, and uh, this month it tried to be more uh, bearish, but it failed again and it did raise back. Uh, however, the risky side is this uh, that uh, this successfully able to break the structure here on the bearish side uh, as far as monthly is concerned if we consider this a bullish candle. So this is another thing is worrying me to take a, a trade at the moment. So if we go to weekly now, <clears throat> this is the thing we have in weekly. We have a double bottom here and we have... Uh, double top here and consider this double top from here to this double bottom if we see the double bottom it reached 50 percent and again it make a, made a lower low and then it came uh, went up and again came down and it, 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 this time it didn't make a it made a higher low and this is the bright side at the moment because if you see one two three four five six weeks it took to get bullish and three weeks it took to being bearish this is the dangerous thing i'm very worried the momentum on the bearish side is very 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 high and of course we see in these two weeks has taken out almost these three guys so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. It is uh, now remaining within a range of uh, how how many pips? If we measure now, it is ranging within 183 pips. Uh, so wait for uh, uh, how how the, does it turn out? So let's uh, get into day uh, day time frame. We have a rejection here, uh, and we have second rejection. So I would go. For the next week, I would like to be more bullish than bearish, to be honest with you. So let me go to day time frame, uh, weekly time frame, so we can put some marking properly to understand how, how far we should go and how, why we should be very careful if that mark has not been achieved. So uh, this thing, if we measure now <coughs> at the moment, if this is the range, for the last two months uh, I'm expecting it to get a little bit bullish up to uh, initially here now it is 57 21 57 64 is the first 
first line uh, it will it will try to cross because uh, this is only a space of hundred uh, how much we measured hundred hundred uh, this is the uh, three hundred fifteen we have the total range and the price is currently <coughs> almost to the uh, seventy five percent from the top 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 side it is almost it has come down to 200 or maybe a little bit more so 210 has already it has came down so this is one thing so if you guys like to take a trade i will prefer uh, to uh, check this out that it has it is it it has a very big area where it is reacting now to this area mainly but on day side uh, it is very clear that two rejection has already happened and it went uh, if we increase it you guys can see that it is trying to get inside the uh, upper side zone uh, i mean it is respecting this area very much so if we draw this area properly it is respecting uh, <coughs> Right. I don't want to draw this one. I want to bring this guy. This is respecting this idea very uh, highly at the moment. So uh, this is my opinion. Uh, until I see a green and red, or at least a green. To be honest with you, I need here to see a green candlestick in daily then the test with the red and if that fails to break this on the downside then i am expecting the price to come to this level in next week this is the first thing in in my mind at the moment so this is the most likely thing i will uh, i will say this is the most likely thing and on the flip side uh, if uh, the price break down come down this area retest and fails to break this uh, line on the upside on the upside then it will come back to this region maybe it will show some reaction for this guy here and uh, this red candlestick can put some pressure here then it will come back here so this is most unlikely because uh, uh, two retracement two long shadow we can see already in the day so in short run it is better to take uh, bullish and once the price reach here and see if it breaks this line or not then we may decide something else not before that because it, it failed to break uh, this line once and it tried a lot of time but it failed uh, it never touched that even so and uh, i would like to see if the price breaks this line or not uh, in the after that we'll decide on the flip side let let me make it uh, uh, dashed line because I am not uh, that much confidence on being bearish at the moment uh, due to this long shadow this this guy and this guy okay that's it for uh, AUDCHF and uh, but this year we will have uh, something different my dear uh, we will have uh, this year we will have something like this a big uh, green candlestick we I am expecting this year Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe, uh, like and share and press the bell icon for new video. Thank you very much.